Hello community, if you are already subscribed to this channel, you may want to reconsider your decision after witnessing the content I'm about to show you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So yesterday this guy called Daniel uh, asked me in the comment section what to do in the modern Scandinavian if Y decides to go for this line. Bishop to c4 as they move 4. So here I like to play this weird looking move bishop to e6. And the thing is, if white decides to go for this big exchange in the middle, our queen ends up in the d5 square hitting the g2 pawn. And here, after the most common reply, knight to f3, we can play queen to e4 check. And now white needs to decide. Either they lose their castling rights with king to f1, or they block with the queen, but they lose the c2 pawn. And in either case, this is just going to be better for black. So that is not a way to go for white. Let's see some other options. If white decides to simply continue with a developing move like knight to f3, here we can exploit the fact that this bishop of ours is not only covering our knight, it is also hitting this bishop which is unprotected with the x-ray. <laughs> So here we can capture on c3, with this move we are hitting the queen, so white is forced to capture our knight, and after that we can capture on c4 and we are up a piece on move 6 in the opening. So that's not good for white. What if white continues with pawn to d3? This move covers this bishop and it opens door for this bishop, but we are still able to capture the knight. They are forced to recapture. And here, after we capture bishop on c4, we give white really nasty <laughs> tripled pawns. And this is also borderline winning for black. So let's go back. Actually, the most correct move in this position, and it is also the most played one, is queen to f3. And here you can make a decision. You can either continue to play a normal game of chess with the move c6, so protecting the knight, or you have an option to go for an amazing, yet losing, <laughs> knight to b4. So with this move, which I totally cannot recommend you to play, although I would play it every time I'm given the opportunity, you are now threatening to capture on c2 with a fork. And there is not a good way for white to try to save this pawn. So if they go for, I don't know, bishop b3 or queen to e4 trying to hold this pawn, this is not going to work for them. What they need to do is to capture the bishop on e6 because now they have a bigger threat and that is to deliver this checkmate. So here we have to capture this bishop and although there is just a handful of games in this position, most players uh, on the white side are going to be like, you retard, you just hang your b7 pawn. And now I'm hitting this, I'm hitting this rook. And yeah, sure, you can go ahead and capture on c2. But after you get my rook, I'll get your rook. And now your knight is just stupid, stuck in the edge of the board. And indeed, this position will be winning for white. But hold on, we are not going to capture on c2 with our knight. We are going to play knight to c6. And what this does? Well, first of all, it covers this knight. And second of all, now we are actually threatening to go rook to b8 and the queen is trapped. So we have two threats and it is to capture on c2 with the fork and to deliver this uh, queen uh, checkmating <laughs> rook to b8. So white cannot deal with both of these threats at the same time. And the engine is saying that the only move how to save some material is to go queen to b5. Although there is another move, knight to b5, where white is trying to go for their own counterplay, but this doesn't work because of rook to b8. And if they capture with the queen on c7, they just hang their knight. And even worse would be if they go for knight to c7 check because they will be hanging their queen actually. Alright, so queen to b5 is the only move. And here we can capture on c2 with a check. 
Uh, now the king would be better on f1, but I can just imagine most of the players will go for a natural king to d1 and at least hit the knight. But it turns out that this move is slightly worse because later in the game we will have a way to exploit this spin. Alright, anyways, here uh, we can bring our queen to d7 and just leave our knight on c2 hanging because they cannot really capture the knight. If they do, we can go knight to d4 check and we will win the queen next turn. So the knight is covered by the tactics. So here what they need to do is to save their rook because it was hanging the whole time. So rook goes to b1. And here we can go rook to b8 threatening the queen. There are plenty of moves where white can retreat their queen. And I don't want to spend like 5 hours analyzing all of those lines and wasting your life. So I'll be showing just one funny line. But basically, wherever the queen goes, uh, our next plan is going to be uh, bring this knight somewhere back as it is hanging uh, and then push g6, fianca to this bishop to have this nice pressure and maybe short castling to give our rook this nice semi-open file. And with these continuations, black will have some nice attacking chances and the position will be better for black. Let's just see the fun line and it starts with rook to b4, harassing the queen once more. So if the queen goes to c5, this is where we can retreat our knight back to d4, because it was hanging. And at this point, white might be like, let me just kick away this annoying rook. So we will bring our rook back to b6. And they can continue with their kind of counterattack with the move b4. Well, we will continue with our plan and go g6. And here white can even go b5, threatening our knight. And we can ignore this and still continue with our plan and go bishop to g7. So if they capture our knight, we can now recapture with the rook. We are hitting their queen. And the queen actually needs to go to one of these two squares to cover this knight. So let's say queen to a5, here comes another crazy move, rook captures on c3, and well they cannot capture with their pawn, because then simply knight to c6 is a discard check and we will win the queen, so they are forced to capture with their queen, and after that we will play queen to a5 check, what is this, queen to a4 check, well if the king moves, this is a bad move because we can go knight to c2 and it is a check and also discard attack on their queen. So we will win the queen this way. So here they are actually forced to just give us back the material with a rook to b3 to block the check and we can just take this rook for free. Now we are hitting the queen as well and the best move is queen to b4 but we can just trade queens, we can trade this bishop for our knight and we will reach this end game where we are up one pawn <laughs> but we have a strong bishop controlling this whole diagonal and we are better developed, this rook is coming out and you see they have to spend some moves to, to free their pieces and this is just winning for black. All right. Let's just go all the way back and let's discuss what is the correct play from white because the amazing and losing move knight to b5 <laughs> was actually losing. So, 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 queen to f3 and now knight to b5. Knight <laughs> to b4, I'm stupid. So Stockfish says this move is losing because after this exchange the queen can go to e4. Uh, there is no need to be scared of queen to h5 check because this is just helping us to develop our dark square bishop and after g6 they actually have to undevelop their queen all the way back to d1 to protect the c2 square. But yeah, the queen to e4 is the correct move for white and well the stockfish says it's losing but there is not like an immediate cool way for white to just uh, destroy black. They need to play patiently, they just need to develop 
and then later orchestrate some kind of attack. So I would say this is still playable for black. And we can go, for example, knight to c6 to protect our knight. And if they go knight to f3 here, <laughs> we have kind of a desperate streak. We can hang our knight on d4 and hope that they will capture. Because if they recapture our queen, we have this royal fork. And this is once again better for black. But they don't have to capture the queen here. They can capture this pawn instead. And after this, well, it will get messy for black. All right, guys, that would be it for these dubious <laughs> but hilarious lines. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye.